I, I love that you just said that it's when you come from the from the outside world into the internet world, it's seductive. Like everything seems, yeah, everything seems sexy, and that you can just turn something on and make ten thousand dollars tomorrow type of thing. That's so true. That is so true. Um, is there anyone that stuck out to you during that process that like is doing a really really good job? That kind of, I guess, is was there like, did you go down the rabbit hole of email marketing? You're like, oh, this is it. This is really what I want to do, and I can focus on this. Or was it that just kind of came as like a byproduct? No, it was more, it was more bits and pieces because what I realized was, is, you know, there's, there's, there's two issues anytime that you're buying a course online or following somebody and one is survivor bias, right? And then the other one is what's called the white herb effect. And what that means is, is that anyone selling a course or anyone selling a sort of like an overall framework, and this goes mostly for people who sell like giant frameworks. Okay. Say this whole framework is going to change your whole life, right? Well, what happens is, is that you're not the same person, you're not in the same market, you're not in the same time, right? right? And so it's it's very difficult to replicate that success. And But if you do a large enough sample size of people, a few people will be successful no matter what. Yeah. And then that becomes a social proof and then people buy off that social proof, right? And so for me, what I've really got relentless about is, is what is the next skill that I need to develop and who can teach me that exact skill? Right. That's right. It. It's like a, it's like I want to learn to play the like if I wanted to learn to play the guitar, who can teach me how to play the guitar? You know. Right. And, right. and so when I, um, you know, when I wanted to learn more about infotainment, you know, I was like, okay, who do I go to teach me more about infotainment? I mean, I had a, a very strong background in stand-up comedy and in mm-hmm. and um in my one-man show and in theater, but how do I how do I translate that to business and what's called infotainment, where you're wrapping around, right? And who can teach that to me? And so. Um, that's what I try to help people understand is, is that you need to identify just the next skill and start stacking skills. And that will, that will hold you in a better stead, in my opinion, than trying to do some system that someone's selling you for everything, you know? Dude, I love that. I love that. I think that's a, that's a very, very important uh, lesson because I do think people take smaller bites. Don't just bite off the whole entire pizza at once and, and fold it up and try to eat the whole thing.